west for 33 miles. Can I start the in the video, please? <laughs> anyway, uh, I hear one scout of the scout. Man, we're here to do a drive video today. We are not in Michigan, as you can tell. We are in Louisiana right now. We're going to be doing a drive video on I-10 West today. We're going from the interchange with Interstate 12 and 59. We'll be going. We'll be going all the way to Highway 90 in downtown New Orleans. It is a foggy morning out this morning, but and it's, so you can tell it's quite muggy out. My car thermometer is reading 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Convert that the Celsius is around 15 degrees. Yep, I am filming this video on New Year's Eve, so this is. This will be the last driving video that I'll be filming in 2022. So since right after Christmas, I've been down in the southern part of the United States for like a good like week and a half or so. So I've spent quite a bit of time over in Alabama, and then I'm staying over in Gulfport, Mississippi. So I'm doing a day trip over to New Orleans. So basically, to explain the area a little bit, I-10 is the, like the main freeway which goes from like Jacksonville, Florida all the way out to Santa Monica, California. However, if you're driving from like Mississippi and Alabama and going, let's say, to Texas and further west, I-10 is not the fastest way to get over there. Because there's Interstate 12, which if we would have, at the, at the very beginning of the video, if we would have continue straight, that would turn into Interstate 12, that would go west toward Baton Rouge and Hammond, Louisiana. And that's more of a direct route if you're going to the west part of the state or going over to Texas. Where I-10 going this way, it's more just going to New Orleans. But it eventually goes back up to Interstate 12 up near like the Baton Rouge area. So it's kind of similar to like up in Michigan where I'm from, where if, let's say you're driving on I-75 coming up from like southern part of Ohio and you're going north to northern Michigan, I-75 in the Toledo area goes off to the northeast a little bit toward Detroit, or if you want to go the more direct way north, you'd want to take US Highway 23 toward like Ann Arbor going that way because that way is a lot shorter. So this is kind of the same thing down here in Louisiana. But yeah, I have not been to New Orleans before, which being a foodie like me, that's shocking. <laughs> because I was supposed to go in 2020 because I was supposed to attend like a travel convention, but that ended up getting canceled for obvious reasons. So I didn't end up not being able to go. So I'm finally able to go today since I'm only staying an hour away. So I figured it'd be a good day trip to get some great food. Because I'm planning to film a foodie video there. We're trying to get a few different things to eat while I'm there. A couple restaurants I'm checking out. I want to go to a Cafe du Monde to get some uh, beignets. That's kind of why I haven't had breakfast yet. Other than maybe having a quick little snack at the hotel before coming over here. I'm trying to get there early too because there's a lot of people going into New Orleans today, not only for New Year's Eve, but also the Sugar Bowl is going out today and it's going to be a big game. So I want to get there before all the parking spaces get taken. say it's it's really nice to be back in this warm weather again because right around the holidays it was pretty cold like even down here it got really cold down here like like even back, well back up in michigan right around christmas day it barely got up to 20 degrees fahrenheit so it's like come down here it's like i go from winter to i wouldn't say summer more like spring. And it wouldn't surprise me we have some more dense fog coming up because we're about to go over Lake, 
uh, Lake Pontchartrain, train probably about a mile from now so unfortunately because of all the low clouds and the some of the patchy fog here we're not gonna be able to see too far that's all right though at least we got some good visibility like a because there, there's like a dense fog at that advisory right now. So I'm, I'm happy that we're able to see what we can right now. So yeah, so, okay, yeah, so here comes the causeway to go over or, over the lake, and this is not the longest crossing across a Lake Pontchartrain. There, there's an even longer crossing that's more to the west of here. Of Mobile Bay, nice little city, and I'm, I'm 
was able to check it out just in time because by the time I got done there, it started to like downpour. And then from there, I then got into Gulfport, which I'm gonna be checking out Gulfport tomorrow on New Year's Day. Like some 
well with the weather here in New Orleans. Just there was a lot of rain supposedly over this area here. Yes, it was just the same rain I saw over in Mobile in that area. Thankfully, today after the fog clears, it's gonna be I think like partly sunny or something and upper 60s, I believe. And if any of them breach, like that's gonna be big, big trouble. 
Orleans. That's basically what happened in New Orleans because New Orleans, I don't think, had, took a direct hit from Katrina. They, that went more toward like Gulfport and the Biloxi area. But what made it so catastrophic is that because it all a lot of the different levees here gave out from from the from like the storm surge and all the heavy rain, so it brought devastating flooding to the city. Because of that, think the think the New Orleans Saints had to play elsewhere for a little while that following football season because they couldn't play at the Superdome. And then a New Orleans basketball team is they ended up having to, having to play temporarily in Oklahoma City before moving back to New Orleans. Although I think the one outcome after that is that Oklahoma City did eventually get their own basketball team, the, the, the Thunder. So we should only have like about six miles to go.
exit 234C for US 90, business west toward West Bank Claiborne Avenue. Yeah, I will say I made really good timing.